hi we are going to see differentiation of combined trigonometries combined trigonometry is not true three trigonometry signs and then one algebra let us see y equal to cos square root of sin tan pi x y equal to cos square root of sin tan pi x okay now uh, y equal to cos x means if you differentiate what will happen d over dx is minus sin x very simple but here what the problem first problem is square root is there second problem here one sin is there third problem tan is the fourth is pi x is the okay so we have to address these four square root sin tan pi x to be say square root sin tan pi x then we have to address sin tan pi x then we have to address tan pi x finally we have to address pi x okay let us see now y equal to cos square root of this is the way to do it d over dx is equal to yes cos what will happen minus sin right minus sin you just write as it is sin tan pi x over okay good now i am going to address the square root what is the square root x power n is uh, if you differentiate of n x to the power of n minus 1 okay here something to the power of of if you differentiate of something to the power of of minus 1 half minus 1 is what minus of okay now this you have to continue this is square root of sin tan pi x will come half sin tan pi x to the power of minus of agreed okay now square root problem we are trust then the next one what to address sin sin tan pi x sin tan pi x uh, what is the difference is in cos tan by x very simple okay cos tan by x we finish then we have to address here it has to be elongated here. then tan by x we have to do it this has to be continued here secant square pi x then can we stop no we have to see pi x we have to differentiate pi x if you differentiate it is pi so now i am just combining minus sign is there 1 by 2 is there pi is there so i am writing minus pi by 2 okay then sign square root of sign tan pi x okay then this half already taken off this this power minus of only for this one uh, okay then this power minus of if it goes to down it will be plus of so i can write square root of sin tan pi x okay then cos tan pi x then secant square pi x it's a simple way you go through y equal to cos square root of sin tan pi x will become uh, when you are differentiating minus pi by 2 sine square root of uh, sine tan pi x 
divided by square root of sine tan by x times cos tan by x times secant square by x. See you in the next sum.